It's July the 22nd, 2014. You are watching the Nuclear Proctologist. I always smile when I say that one. And tonight we got a fun little, weird little, strange little, controversial story, apparently. And I decided to come in and weigh in onto it. A blue crab. I was going to say starfish. Blue crab has been found in Alaska amongst thousands of other crabs. And... It's a very rare thing. They have found another one back in the 80s. And I am the nuclear proctologist.org, so why am I weighing in on this one? Well, let's go have a look at it. At first, it seems innocuous, even harmless, because there's mutations. Very rare, but there are mutations in everything out there. In Pacific sea life, never seen anything like it. And another thing I want you to remember how you hear about cancers from thousands of years ago. Remember, the tar pits have been around forever. And if you ate or drank food that came close to those tar pits, you could have got yourself cancer. And you still can if you go there and do it today. The Gnome Nugget, the ABC News has reported on this, Anchorage on the Blue Crab. And so they're shoving it out there, which weighs up my interest. The Gnome Nugget has a little blurb. And it's a PDF file. It's slow to open. But you also have ABC News weighed in on it. And you got to admit, you know, that's a forget-me-not. That's a, a very cool-looking color. Now, we've seen this off of Japan. Now, this is Alaska talking about the same story, July the 12th. And everybody's going down taking pictures of it and sharing it on Facebook. And it's become a bit of a story. Now, I want you to take into consideration that I double-check that I actually done what I was supposed to do here. <laughs> it's hard to do what I do. But I am a nuclear proctologist, and I like to probe, and probe I will. Back on May the 16, 2014, E&E News reported from uh, the Gnome, go figure, same people we're talking about today, the University of Alaska, Fairbanks, Alaska Dispatch, NOAA, and many other reports about Livers crumbling, hearts enlarged, pale, yellow, lip nodes, blood filled lungs, and there's no answer. They're testing the carcasses on May the 14, 2014, for Fukushima. I'm not su suggesting they do that with uh, the blue crab. I think myself, you know, we should be looking at everything else. But just to keep on track here, livers crumbled was nothing. Uh, Alaska professor. Fukushima fallout, a suspected factor in unusual mortality of the seals and the walruses. That was January the 28th. And you can go listen to the Alaska Public Radio. You can also, Japanese government study that the Fukushima contamination in the ocean reached Alaska in under a month. Now, the plume never stopped coming out of there. It's coming out of there at about 50 square miles a day. And we've covered quite a bit here on this site. The USGS had announced on April the 7th, 2012, that polar bears with oozing sores, hair loss in Alaska, and that similar symptoms as recent as mysterious seal deaths, uh, which is, I'll cover that here in a little tiny bit. There was a 35 square mile megapod of dolphins related to the sea lions' deaths in California, and an extraordinary changes seen in their behaviors. That was April 10th, 2013. But dead sea lions everywhere, and they've never seen nothing like it. California, of course, gets the brunt of the Fukushima right away. It disperses after that. An epidemic of crisis proportions, April 2nd, 2013. Exponentially higher numbers are washing up. Manatees dying in droves. We have sea mammals. Epidemic is so worse that thousand washing ashore. 2013 in March, something is grown, wrong, going wrong. The stranding centers can't keep up, of course. Sicken Alaskan seals concentrated where Fukushima radioactive plume made landfall. Now, the plume is coming out, going into the ocean at a sustained rate every day from three melted reactors. Chernobyl is one third the size of any of the reactors at Fukushima. Chernobyl was a 30% meltdown. Fukushima was 100% meltdowns, and number four spent fuel pool has evaporated, and the core, what they had done with number four at Fukushima was, the buildings were all cracked, the basements were all snapped from the earthquake, tsunami came in, 
for 500 miles and ripped the coast up. Fukushima was right up the center of it. And so it was total devastation. You can never get in or they sprayed salt water on it. And these buildings are hemorrhaging radioactive materials from the melted cores and from the dispersal of the detonations from the neutrons and the x-rays splitting the atoms directly into the environment. Every time it rains, all the water is perpetually pouring on it. Let me keep going. Uh, radiation tests on their way on dead and diseased seals in Alaska. Bleeding lesions, hair loss. This is a typical radiation illnesses, especially when you're thinking about something that is eating the marine animals that are bioaccumulating everything. 50 square miles a day every day goes into the ocean from Fukushima of unimaginable radiation from spent missiles that were put through the chain reaction at Fukushima again. And scientists are showing, you know, they don't want to, and that's hard to look at, but I mean, this is really, truly happening to our planet. The largest disease outbreak is what they're calling it that we've ever known of. It's they're in total denial and potential for global extinction. And I agree with that 100%. That's why the nuclear proctologists exist. We exist because we have to, to give you a lucid version of what nuclear means, what radiation means, what ionized, how different that is from everything else in our solar system. How it's man-made is truly man-made. You won't find them in the actual on the moon or created by the sun. They're not indigenous that we know of to our solar system. Our periodic table has been adjusted to insert them in there to trick you. Over 20 species of starfish are expected to die off. McLean's, Eugene Weekly, the KUOW News, Earth Fix. And this is not a joke. This is Fukushima. The, radi the dispersal came in, the disposition all over the country it gets washed. A lot of it gets washed back out to your coastline. It's coming in every day and slamming into your coastline. It takes about 130 days to cross the ocean, 1,200 days. So your ocean is starting to fill up. And we have to deal with it. And we have ways to deal with it. That's what we're trying to do here. TV like a horror show at Los Angeles Beach. Unusual number, numbers of marine animals getting sick and dying. They're falling over. They're hobbling all over the place. Pe people are reporting on it. KTTV Los Angeles. Fox 13. KTD Broadcasting. You scroll down and you start reading this stuff. 50 dead sea lions, whales, walruses recently stranded in Alaska, dozens of seals suffering from baldness, skin sores, the transport of Fukushima radionuclides present a new stressor to the ecosystem. I can assure you, if you're going to go to the mainstream media or go to your local institutions or your local universities without context, you're going to get your soul robbed by these people. These are the nuclear apologists. The nuclear proctologist has probed very deeply in the last eight months into the nuclear industry. And we, they have come up wanting over and over and over. They are lying, manipulative people. Toxic outbreak. Birds falling from sky. Sea lions convulging. Toxins hit the record levels. Thousands percent. Heart lesions. Now, that's their heart lesions and their notorious radiation illnesses. The shrinking of the hearts is notorious. Parts of the brain, the nervous system failures, these are all emblematic of radiation and the system is unbelievable. Birds, sea lions, dolphins, whales, experts off the chart. The pelican population has an un unimaginable, instead of 10,000 of breeding pair successfully, there was just a maybe, I can't remember, dozens and hundreds of all the different institutions, San Francisco, Cisco, Chronicle, Point Reads Lights, uh, avian ecologist, and this has been reported repeatedly in other um, San Francisco record number of seals, sea lions, large pockets of green and yellow pus all over their bodies. This is not natural. I spent my entire life on the ocean, okay? This is not natural. They predict the West Coast killer whales will get a, or have over a thousand man-made radioactive Equals per kilogram of cesium. There's going to be 100 times more strontium-90. You're going to have uranium-238 and all your daughters, uranium daughters, plutonium daughters. There's around 2,600 man-made radioactive materials hemorrhaging out of Fukushima. Excuse me. Seattle Post Intelligence, uh, Canada.com reporting on it. 
CBC radio, uh, CBC radioactive particles arrived far earlier than predicted. The plume stretched for 4,800 miles across the ocean. The plume stretched. Plume stretched. The plume. It never stopped coming at it or still coming at it or like St. Paddy's Day. Every minute, 1,440 minutes a day. I shouldn't have to do this. You shouldn't have to do this. This is why we paid the system. You go over to the nuclearproctologist.org and I have it all vetted out over there for you. U.S. government scientists investigating if Fukushima radiation contributed to unusual deaths and sicknesses in marine animals. Similar illnesses seen in Japan and other countries on the Pacific. It's frightening headlines and you got unbelievable amounts of institutions have reported on it but the media doesn't and if the media does it gets buried and that's why we have to aggregate it all so you can have the story so you can understand what you're missing and all the fluff you're being fed they're not going to feed you any of this they don't want you to know about it they'll lie to you and that's what they do what we do is we just find the facts we don't need anything else it's all mainstream media abc home nugget everybody telling you the same thing when you go through it like we have the nuclearproctologist.org scroll down through when you find the pictures you can click on them and the stories down below get down to the ocean I'm not going to get there on this stream but you can get to stories on different sections of Canada United States and click your way through and start learning so you have a good foundation to work with and then go out and do your own investigation you'll find out that after eight months that's why this site the nuclear proctologist exists it's there so you got a one-stop shop to work out everything. Let the page load up. I'm trying to resolve the issues with your script. Let the page load up and then you can go down and click away. There's 2,000 pictures down below and a different, not like this, there you can slide across them. You'll see a slider. There's Canada, there's Japan, there's radiation illnesses. There's stuff here so that you could, to guide you, to help you get through the nonsense. And that's what you have to do. You got to get through the nonsense and then learn. And what we're here to teach you, ask questions. There's links above to get hold of me if you desperately need to talk for a question. I'll definitely get back to you. I'll do interviews, I'll do radio, but the media won't touch me. But I'm here, I'm for you, I'm by you, I'm, I'm because of you. Because you need to know, You and when you find out, they'll terrorize you. I'll make you understand how to go about it, how to deal with it. There's 4,300 peer review academic studies that you paid for every day, published. We took one day of that and put it to work on solving some of these issues. We wouldn't have the, the, what's coming. But if we don't deal with it, it is coming. And that's why we're here. Take care, folks. We'll see you tonight during the live stream. And remember, don't hold your breath. The blue crab. Could be Fukushima, could be a mutation. The rest of it is most likely Fukushima.